Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. This calls for a subtle touch. There. Now that we're actually using him properly, mm -hmm. he, I got he's this. very powerful. And the best thing is, since we have his AI turned off, we always see when he can cast spells. So honestly, I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna turn the AI off on a loth when we bring him yeah. back in too. Sure. Because spellcasters are so much better if you're constantly throwing out all of their spells. And they don't do that with the AI. Um, they seem to like do a spell and then attack a few times and do a spell. And also their spell selection with the AI, I need to really go through there with a fine-tooth comb because I'm not super jazzed about how they pick their spells. Like, we don't always have to cast an arcane shield at the beginning of the fight and just blow our first spell slot with that, basically. What's this? The engraved, the engraving honors the life of a hero of old. And I like that we have her on melee with her lantern out, finally. How you doing, by the way? I'm eh, getting there. Getting there. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. How are we looking? Oh, dude, we're okay. We're really opening this area. This whole yeah. area has been a kind of a fun segue to the city. Oh! Oh, that's a zone. Oh, shit. We gotta clear this out first. Does a dare have a special subclass? No, I don't believe so. I think he is just a fighter. He is a straight up non subclassless or non subclass fighter. Mm hmm. Ko is a druid shifter, shattered pillar monk. Uh, she is a harvester of gone subclass, which gains a hatchet proficiency and gains some spells. That's about it. Those are normal for pre subclass. He's a water shaper druid, and then he's a wild mind cipher. Wild mind has is basically like a giant RNG plus or negative system. Yeah. I really like how companions have unique subclasses. That was a great touch by the devs. Course. Hey, gift of life. How you doing, bud? What is this? Did we have we been here yet? This giant purple area. <coughs> Whoa! Is that a flaming sword? Hey, stop! What are you doing, you fat fingered oaf? Put me down! The sword twists and turns in your hand, trying in vain to wriggle out of your grasp. The word Modwer is etched and gilded at the base of the blade. Ah! It speaks! Oh, it speaks. It mimics your voice in a mocking sing-song manner. Idiot. It mumbles under its breath. I like this sword. Can we keep it? <laughs> keep your filthy paws off me. Um. Modwer huffs an irration, an irritation, and turns over in your hand. Now, if you don't mind, I'm waiting for someone very important who is definitely coming back any day now, and you won't want to be here when she does. The master animus are responsible for your condition, I presume? No, that would be a man known across Aora as the great wizard none of your fucking business. Have you heard of him? <laughs> I'm waiting for my owner, obviously. It's really a wonder you've managed to survive to the ripe old age of whatever you are, being this stupid. Remind me which of us was just sitting in a pile of garbage? <laughs> well, there's no need to be mean. Modwer grows cold, frost creeps up the blade, yet the hilt remains oddly warm, almost inviting? But my owner, she was really great. I mean, is really great. Her calluses felt so good on my grip. Oh, I can do things with a sword you wouldn't believe. Show me, I'm a quick study. Motor makes dramatic retching noises, pretending to throw up. Actually, even though you're clearly little more than a ham-handed half-wit, maybe you can do something for me. I'll let you handle me, but only under one condition. You have to help me find my owner, okay? Am I supposed to wander around your questioning every random swordsman I come across? What you do is your business. I don't know if I can trust you yet. You need to prove your worth to me first. How would I do that? Well, stick me in some monsters. What the fuck else is a sword good for? <laughs> is that what you really want? I, I wouldn't hate it. Mode were warm slightly against your palm, almost as if it were blushing. 
You have the sword, testing its weight. It's a finely wrought weapon, though it has seen better days. All it needs is a bit of polishing. You scabbard it and continue along your way. Wow. That, that looks like something. That was unexpected. That was really cool. Is that a, is this like an actual sword? Or is this a quest item? Um, you can pop those here. Oh shit! It's soul bound. Restricted to the Watcher? Talk to? Um. Hmm. Well. I mean, I guess that's that, huh? Let's do this first. Hmm. I don't think it gained anything when I bound it. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll try binding it to the druid first, and then maybe we'll try the monk afterward. We can always we can always sever it. I think. At least most of the time we can. Maybe we. Do I have to talk to it first? What do you want? Hmm. I don't think... Oh, it said I can't sever it? I thought it said that I, I could sever it... Rip commitment. Um, hold on. Did I save it before I did this? No, I didn't. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We'll take it. Cool. Bound of the Druid. Sounds good, man. Um, all right. Let's chat it up. What do you want? Who were you before you were putting this sword? None of your God's damn business. Animats rarely retain their consciousness, let alone their memories. You're different. Nice of you to notice. You hear what can only be a sneer edge of Modwar's voice. I was a ruler beyond compare. Handsome. Just. Exceedingly well muscled, beloved of my subjects and favored by Wodica. Very funny. In truth, I don't know who I was. So far as I can remember, I've always been a sword. Whatever memories I had of a time before, they're gone. Who is your owner? A much better swordswoman than you, to start. There has to be more than that. How'd she come by those skills? Killing troublesome animancers, mostly. Hmm. She was an agent of Dunnard Row, at least for a while. Her name is Ingfrith. Oh, Dunnard Row. Interesting. A much better swordswoman than you, to start. Well, that's not the whole story. You haven't earned the right to ask me these kinds of questions. I hardly know you. Good, I was starting to get bored. Well, okay. <laughs> um... What do I want to do? Do I want to dual wield on Ko? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we can sort and board it for now. Let's do that for now. A little bit of extra defense on him. I think that won't hurt. Is that Cindy from Final Fantasy XV? Probably. Um, I don't think we ever went in here. Let's go check this out real quick. Slow mo. There we go. Yeah. Glowing purple spores come away on your hand. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's go talk to this guy. We basically cleared the entire zone. Oh, black pearl. Nice. Those are expensive. What's up, dude? Incredible! You're not at all scathed. Not even a smidge. It's because I heal after every combat. It's pretty awesome. Well, we're still alive. What's next for our daring escape plan? I've opened a passage through the ruins of a temple in a lower area. He rubs the stale-smelling sweat from the back of his neck, face slack with relief. His eyes crinkle in brief uncertainty, but it ebbs just as quickly. Then I'll make it. I know I'd hoped, but honestly, I didn't really expect you'd help me. Can't turn a blind eye to someone in need, bro. A wistful smile twists across his dirty face. I owe you, friend. If you're of a mind, meet with me in Port Manje. I'll make it worth your while. Cool! Two sort of rush for it. He secures his pack with careful motions, and with a final nod to you, eases out into the darkness. Well, we gotta get to Port Maje and see what that did. That could be cool. Okay. So let's break north here and see where this zone is gonna take us. Old City. What is this called? Old City Ruins. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the area we could have gone to if we went down the broken steps in the north part of the previous ruin zone, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Real quiet. Yeah, this music is, is very ominous. This whole area has been pretty ominous. Can you equip a pistol and sword? You sure can. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think there's a class to get some bonuses for having a pistol and sword equipped. A swashbuckler or something. I think that's where we would have dropped down. Oh, no, no. That's another... I sense a predator. Whoa, buddy. Have we fought shadows yet? Yeah. Do it alive. Let's go. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Whoa, not good. Okay, first of all, heal. Uh, you, let's go ahead and summon our storm. You, let's go ahead and uh, zap zap. Ko, where are you? We gotta get you going. Ko, uh, let's go ahead and do a zap with you too. Holy shit, surrounded. Um, girl, you need to get a heal. enough to do, you do. Grab that gotcha. Alright, Tehu, let's get a heal in. Okay, 
moon wells down. There we go. That's good. Let's go get the storms going. We get it up this time. Are they mean to cold? Uh, they have they have cold armor. Shit. Um, let's do a summon. Okay. Man, those dudes hit really hard. They just dis they dropped to Kehu. Uh, we can go ahead and That's rest. That's your service. That's been a while. Get some of those rest abilities back. Um, more fresh fruit for him. Rest. Is this game free to play? No, 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 no. It's it's a it's a full game. It's a hundred plus hour adventure. Go find the sword. Oh, did I get a kill with the sword? No, not yet. No, in fact, you know what? I think we'll purposefully leave Ko. Oh, we have to kill a kith, so we, ha we have to kill an actual human. I'm not sure where, there's not a lot of humans in this game. Like, that we kill. We mostly kill like spirits and animals and stuff, so we'll have to. What say? Hmm. I might do some science and just kill a shopkeeper or something outside to see what happens. In fact, we're definitely going to do that when we go back up early morning. Ooh. Oh my. Okay. Um. Here it comes. Oh my god. Get this up quick. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to cast this immediately. Oh, are these immune to... They're immune to slashing. They're not immune to electricity. I'll teach you a lesson. I'll teach you a lesson, also. Uh, let's go ahead and cast this guy. The dare. Throw a stun grenade up here. Now, where were we? <laughs> Him, on him. Let's go ahead and pop a heal on the party. A dare. Let's get you. Don't I have a move that does like an arc? Maybe not. It's okay though. Co, how are you doing? Summoned up. First, we're going to pop a robust on him. Then, we're going to do a grab on you. Now, we're going to get a blind up right there. What are you doing? That's not what I wanted you to do. Quick! 
Pulp shark form. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and blind here. Talk this over. There's no need for that. Okay, let's get you in four form. Get you sped back up. I'll teach you. This does not work. One him. One him. Let's also go ahead and do. <laughs> Next time. Ooh, this guy's take. This guy's gonna take a lot of health to kill. Uh. Having two druid shapeshifters in the party is kind of nuts. It just looks kind of nuts. Four kick! Boom! Four kick to the face. Now where makes no difference. Most of our party is slashing, which is kind of unfortunate. Kind of wish one of our forms did crushing damage or something. That'd be kind of fun. Show them how it's done. I'm unit frightened, mm -hmm. no surprise. Stag and boar form because Poe cannot hurt them with slash damage. Do stag and boar form be crushing? No, I don't think they do. What I should do is maybe I should make a, uh, maybe I should make a, uh, well, we have the pierce offhand that we can use. No. We'll see. We'll play with it. We'll play with yeah, we'll play with it. Ten percent chance to repeat attacks after five point five seconds with pre spells. Wait, what? 10% chance to repeat attack for half a second with pre-spells. So, so when I cast a pre-spell for a half second, I have a 10% chance to repeat attacks? Or is it repeating the spell? Um, is it repeating the spell? Hey there. Because if so, that's insane. <laughs> it is. It is potentially repeating the spell. Oh, wow. Uh. Whoa. I got that this. seems kind of awesome. And an heavy boot. Okay. I'm. I'm totally okay with this. I am okay with this. 10% spell echo. Done and done. What are you? Man, nothing's good in perception spots. I wonder if they did that on purpose, because they didn't want to really hinder anyone that had low perception. Okay, this big foreboding staircase. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about this. Hello? Bulbous colonies of fungi soften the harsh features of this ancient Amawa king. Give me a real challenge. Uh oh, here comes the stinky. Oh, we could have just gone up here. Okay. Well, that's not nearly as foreboding. I Good. see a soul in the darkness. Hey, Show him how it's rabid done. Rabid corpse eater. Ready for 
Uh oh, Sigil of Darkness. Alright, hold on. Great. So we're all warded, right? Okay, good. Alright, let's get started. You're about to get slammed into it. Um, well, yeah, this isn't good. Holy shit, y'all. Whoa. Um, air form. Oh, we did. Use the light out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let this finish up. We ain't living through this. Take that, jerks! Ha <laughs> ha! Run for my life. Nero. You'll never take me alive, coppers! Wait, what? Can I actually just run? Can I zone? <laughs> Maybe this won't be a death. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no. We can't zone. Oh, sweet mother of mercy. Alright, we'll be fine. No problem. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine! Is that you? Ah, man! Okay, so... We are going to have to approach this fight a little differently. Stag and boar form do piercing damage. Oh, okay. Cool, thank you. Alright, so let's see if we can pull this group down. In there. Let's go back across the top here. I think what really happened is the reason that two people like dropped instantly is if someone got a mind slice off on us. And that is an incredibly powerful skill. I got this. I got this. Especially if it bounces between two people over and over and over, which it looks like what happened. So we're going to try this a little bit differently. Yeah? I trust you. Wait a second. Oh, this shit's way higher level than us. Maybe that's what's going on here. I'll teach you um, Mm. Smart Stony. 
plan? Flakers. I hope nobody saw. Start after this. Our druid is is a fantastic off tank. Like this guy has saved us so many times. Guys, almost down. See you must. Come on. Go. Beautiful. I'll teach you a lesson. Mm, no one needs to do that. <sighs> Damn. All right. Good 